Let's dive into all these trade rumors surrounding Max Crosby because I've been getting tons of questions about whether Max is going to be traded here or there. Let me clear this up right now. Max Crosby isn't going anywhere. In today's show, I'm going to lay out all the reasons why that idea is totally off the table. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for latest updates. Here's the bottom line. The whole buzz about Max Crosby possibly being traded kicked off after Devontae Adams was traded. But for anyone who's been following the Raiders closely, it's clear how highly Max is regarded within the organization, especially by Mark Davis. Compared to Adams, Max is practically untouchable. Sure, there's some talk about the Raiders potentially selling at the trade deadline. We've heard what Antonio Pierce said about the team being in win-now mode, but sitting at a 2-4 and four record, it wouldn't be surprising if they start considering future picks, perhaps even for a quarterback. Personally, I want the Raiders to pursue a strong quarterback, but that doesn't mean we should part with our franchise cornerstone. When it comes to his contract, Max Crosby does have an affordable deal. He signed a hefty four-year, $98 million extension a few years back, and there's still two years left on it. If, hypothetically, the Raiders did consider trading him, another team could take on that contract. But let's be clear, the Raiders have no intention of trading him, and there's this other rumor floating around that Max threatened to leave unless they hired Antonio Pierce as coach. That's just Max standing up for his guy. Mark Davis is fully aware of how crucial Max is to the Raiders, and it's safe to say Max embodies what it means to be a Raider. If Al Davis were to define a true Raider, it would look like Max Crosby. Mark Davis sees that as clear as day. For those who've heard whispers about him possibly joining the Lions, let's put that to rest too. Despite being a Lions fan growing up, Max bleeds silver and black now. I've had numerous conversations with him, and it's clear as day that he wants to be a Raider for life. Max even has a Raiders tattoo, which speaks volumes about his dedication to the team. There's been a lot of chatter about my penchant for discussing rumors, and I'm not shy about it. But let me assure you the idea of Max being traded is absolutely ridiculous. He's not going to be traded, and he's determined to win games right here with the Raiders. Max's strong relationship with Mark Davis is another reason why a trade isn't happening. They're close, and this connection highlights how important Max is to the franchise. Max is completely committed to the team and is eager to secure victories wearing the silver and black. Let's stop these trade rumors and focus on supporting the team. Switching gears to some Raiders talk, there's been a lot of buzz about Max Crosby trades. Mark Davis, the team's owner, has insisted there's no truth to these rumors. Mark and Max have a good relationship. They're friends outside of work, enjoying cigars, and hanging out. This bond between an owner and a player isn't just rare in the NFL, it's rare in all sports. Mark Davis is also known to be quite business-minded, deeply concerned about the financial health of the team. So, if the Raiders were to trade Max Crosby, it would likely upset a lot of fans. When the team moved on from players like Derek Carr or Khalil Mack in the past, there were already some strong reactions. A Max Crosby trade would be on a whole new level, causing a major meltdown among fans. If the Raiders ever did trade Crosby, I'd be right here rallying the fan base to start a movement to convince Mark Davis to sell the team because, long story short, a lot of Raiders fans might stop attending games or buying merchandise. It's about standing up for what we believe in as fans. Also, the cost of trading Crosby would be astronomical. It would start with three first-round picks and two high-caliber players. But realistically, no team would dish out that much. So why even entertain these trade talks when the starting point is so far-fetched? Sure, let's dive into this topic with a bit more detail and a laid-back approach. So let's talk about the idea of trading Max Crosby from the Raiders. If a team were to offer the Raiders a whopping five first-round picks, maybe they'd consider it? But honestly, there's not a single NFL team out there that's going to throw such a massive offer their way just to snag Crosby. He's such a crucial part of the Raiders, and I can confidently say he's going to remain a Raider for life. I'm absolutely sure of it. He's not going anywhere. One big reason why he's staying put is the potential for part ownership after his playing days are done. Now, I'm not entirely sure if Max has specific ambitions to become an owner after his football career. However, given what we know, if he sticks with the Raiders throughout his entire NFL journey, he might just get the chance to own a piece of the team. You see, the Raiders have previously given percentages of ownership to prominent former players, like 5% to Tom Brady and 0.5% to Richard Seymour. So if Max remains with the silver and black, retires as a Raider, I promise you he'll also likely become a minority owner of the Las Vegas Raiders. 
that's yet another reason why a trade just isn't on the cards. Crosby and the Raiders seem like they're in it for the long haul together.